wanted to show you a couple new banjo builds. I've got two of them today. I'm calling this a West Virginia mountain banjo and I'm calling this an East Kentucky mountain banjo. And I can just briefly go over some of the dis differences. So this is probably what we mostly recognize as a mountain banjo. It's round. It's constructed of three boards stacked on top of each other and you've got beefy tenon that slides between them and it all gets bolted or pegged or whatever together. Now, on a typical North Carolina, Tennessee style mountain banjo, stuff that was made popular by Tab Ward, Stanley Hicks, uh, Clifford, what the hell is that guy's name? Clifford Glenn, people like that, mostly around Western North Carolina. They made this style of banjo with the uh, metal insert inside that the skin is tensioned over. The big difference with this and why I call this a West Virginia mountain banjo is that there's no metal in this banjo. It's all pegged together with wood and glue and then it's hollow, completely hollow inside. The skin is tacked on top so it's almost like a cross between a tack head and a mountain banjo and then you put that thin hardware and peg it down over the top. That secures the hide on. So this was, I loosely based this banjo off of an example that was owned by Franklin George. Frank George is from Bluefield, West Virginia. His father, whose name I don't know, but Frank George's father built a banjo that was very much like this in West Virginia in the 1930s. Don't know the exact year. So that's my West Virginia style mountain banjo. Now, taking it even further west and even weirder, is the East Kentucky style mountain banjo. This example is hexagonal. Uh, many of them are octagonal. Most of them are probably octagonal. And you've got a lot of them that are square. Uh, but this is the hexagonal. I think this is the easiest kind to make. I've copied this off of several antiques I've examined up close and some photographs. I did a full V'd neck on it. I, of course, always hand carve my own tuning pegs and stuff like that. Now, the bone is a piece of uh, bone. <laughs> the nut is a piece of bone from a white-tailed deer. My dogs bring in tons of bones from these woods back here, so I don't have to purchase bone. Neck is local Georgia black walnut. I don't even stain this neck, y'all. That's just oil, and it gets that black. That's Georgia black walnut. And then Georgia red oak makes this beautiful sound chamber. Woo. 
I just love it, y'all. Take a look at that. Very happy with how this one turned out. Both of these really turned out nicely. But I think I'm going to focus on on these hexagons and octagons and maybe and keep building some gourd banjos and stuff going forward. I really enjoy making these and gourds. Okay, everybody. Thanks for looking. Let's try to get the thumbnail.